Every day, thousands of tourists swarm to watch the flag rise over Tiananmen Square. Each night, the flag gets taken down. In the middle of the square is the granite monument to the people's heroes. Built in 1952, it's the largest monument in China's histories. On it are the words written by Chairman Mao, the people's heroes are immortal. Opposite the cenotaph on the west of Tiananmen Square is the Great Hall of the People. This building, built in 1959, is the site of China's National People's Congress meetings. Throughout the square there is a military presence. All bags are checked multiple times at security checkpoints. Safety is important. A panoramic view of the square. First we have the People's Hall, followed by the Tiananmen Tower, the north end of the square. This was built in 1417 during the Ming Dynasty. Coming around further to the right, we have the National Museum of China, the Cenotaph, and behind, thousands of people queue to see Chairman Mao in his mausoleum. Everything is balanced, everything is symmetrical. This is an awesome space. You are absolutely conscious of the might of China. Tiananmen Square is one of the world's 10 largest squares. It's 109 acres in size and it was originally built in 1651. Let's focus a little more on Tiananmen Tower built during the Ming Dynasty. The square is the front door to the Forbidden City beyond. The most important use of the square in the past was to declare in a big ceremony to the common people who would become the next emperor and empress. Until 1911, when the last feudal kingdom was over, no one could enter the tower except for the royal family and aristocrats.